Pam Dyson with the St. Louis Center for Play Therapy Training. I use a lot of games in my play therapy practice. And a lot of times, uh, in addition to therapeutic board games and activities, I like to take traditional games and add a therapeutic element to them. And one of the games that I use frequently is Jenga. And uh, this is a Jenga tower. I've made it out of uh, the traditional Jenga blocks. There are lots of uh, generic versions of the Jenga game. Um, here's a set over here, and here's a set here. These are um, tricolored, red, yellow, and blue. And they're a lot cheaper than the traditional Jenga game. So if you're on a tight budget, um, look for these games at some of the discount department stores. I've seen them at Big Lots. Stores like that will have these. What I like to do is with preschool age children and sometimes early elementary age children, I will use the red, yellow, and blue uh, Jenga game and I will use a color-coded um, feelings chart that goes along with it. Yellow being happy, blue being sad, red being mad. And when the child um, pushes, pulls, knocks out um, a colored block, they um, correlate it to the color on the chart. In this case, it's happy. So then they would share something that makes them feel happy. Sometimes young children are reluctant to share their own personal feelings. So I will usually approach it from the angle of, what's something that makes kids happy? And they might be more likely to share something with me. That's the way I use it with younger children. With uh, school-aged children, especially those who are able to read or are starting to read, uh, will play it the same way, where they, where they pull out a colored block. And this time, I've made, um, game cards, red, yellow, and blue, color-coded. So if they would happen to pull out, that happens frequently. Sometimes the younger children enjoy that aspect of it just as much, and we might rebuild it. If we don't rebuild it, we'll just pick up from the ones that have fallen and play from that. This time I have a red one, so I'd pick up a red card, and I will sometimes make the cards um, specific to certain situations with children, maybe about anxiety, maybe about social skills, maybe about their family, maybe about the way they feel about themselves. In this particular um, question card, it says, if you were the new kid in your neighborhood, list three things you could do to make friends. So I can use these games as assessment tools. We can use it as ways of helping them come up with um, problem solving skills as well. This game over here, which is another one of the generic uh, versions, um, I have put questions um, on each individual block. So in this situation, if you would knock out a block, pull it out, you would read the question and respond to it. This particular set of questions on this stack of blocks is specific to um, family. So if I was working uh, with a family, um, I would use this game as a great way to um, assess family dynamics, um, a way for them to um, communicate with one another. And this particular block says, what's something your family could do together that you've never done before? So whoever pulled that block would answer that question. In a family setting, I might actually um, give them the alternative of not answering a question, but asking someone else in the family to answer the question for them. The uh, original version of Jenga, um, what you could do is take stickers and you could use stars, little dots, reinforcement dots, larger dots. You could um, put a color on each one um, and then you could color code them to cards. So you could do that as well. Or maybe there's a specific one um, that doesn't have a particular sticker on it. That could be they get a pass that time. Um, so you could use that in a family setting. You could use that individually. Um, also, these games are great to use in groups. If you're uh, a school-based therapist or your therapist in an agency who does um, uh, groups, it would also um, work for that as well. So lots of different ways of using a, a basic uh, game and I hope you found some uh, inspiration in my ideas and I hope you could come up with some more creative ways of using Jenga.